What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a quest system. And I will leave the model link in the description, which it will contain the scripts, but you will have to modify it and add your own quests. But anyways, let's get started. Before this video continues, make sure your game is published, then click Game Settings, then click Security, then make sure Enable Studio Access to API Services is enabled because this uses Roblox data stores. I would show you me doing it, but it doesn't show up on the recording software. But now you want to search up King's Quest system. Now you want to insert the model, put the, um, huh, didn't publish correctly. Well, that's fine. We can code it anyways. Now you want to insert the things in the correct area, but for the model, I will update it so in when you insert it into your game, it will have the data store script. You won't have to code it, but I'll be back once I have the data store script. Alright, so I have finished the data store, basically creating the instance, getting their async, and then saving once there's an event, a server event for the remote event, and then saving it once the player leaves the game. Now we can get on to coding the quests. Alright, so now you want to open this, and then open quests, and then open this script. So, this is basically like if there's no quests, but these are not in the game, so you'll want to remove these, which I forgot to do. But once the model, when you get the model and insert it into your game, I promise it will be removed, it will not be in there. Let me make sure it's called quest folder. Yep. All right. Now let's let's make a leader stat. So, oh, there's an error. Where's the error? Oh yes, right here. All right. So let's make a little a le a leader stat thing where it will save, but just gonna duplicate this. Call it coins data. So this will be an example for a quest coins. Oh, no, leader stats, coins. Since I'm too lazy to change this, it will not interfere with this script. I just changed the data store key, so it's fine. Coins, perfect. We do not need this part, so let's delete this part. We do need this part, coins. Perfect. All right, now we have our coins leader stats, so now let's do local coins equals player colon wait for child leader stats colon wait for child coins. Now there are multiple ways to make a quest system, but this is just, this way I'm teaching you is the way I learned, that I coded it myself. I basically taught myself how to do this, but this is optional. If you want a list of the quests so you don't have to look through this, you can have it here so you don't put the same quest twice. So now let's get the quests. Alright, so quest is a number value, so if, we're going to put if quest dot value equals equals zero and deb equals false deb is like um an enabled thing so basically if it's enabled and someone clicks the button the open button it will not update the quests this is for if they complete a quest it will not change it and say it will just stay as you completed a quest and then the bound deb will equal false and then and then um Oh, and then the text will change. So, local function update quest. This is creating a function. It's basically like um, a broadcasting. Once I receive broadcast update quest, then do this code. So, quest text equals quest. Collect five coins. Reward two. Let's put ten coins. Now we're going to get to the technical part. If quest.value equals equals zero and coins.value equals equals five. Nope. 
greater than five because if you are just adding the quests and people have grinded in your game if you put equals five they will not be able to complete the quest but if you do the greater sign and then equals five if they have five or more they will be able to redeem the quest we're gonna put dev to true and then quest we're gonna change the quest text to you completed a quest you can put it to whatever you want but for this tutorial I will put it I'm gonna stop talking while I'm typing it's messing up my thought but for this for this tutorial I'm putting it you completed a quest but you can put it to whatever you want then you want to do um, quest completed on fire server player so this will fire the server for the player and save the player's data and not everyone's data all right now you want to do the reward system that you do not have to do this but i just do this because it looks cool coins dot value plus equals one coins number plus equals one weight 0 0.01 now it's going to repeat this until coins number equals 10 then we're going to set coins number to zero the reason why you won't you don't want to do till coins equals 10 because if the player has more than 10 coins already they will it will keep adding the score because it will it will just like not be at 10 but if you do greater than 10 it will not add any coins if their coins are greater than 10 that is because you put greater than 10 so it's going to repeat that until it's greater than 10 now let's add a little wait time you can set the wait time to whatever you want but for this tutorial i will set it to two so that way it's not like you completed a quest and then instantly changes and then double equal false i keep thinking of debounce i thought that was a thing i if i say deb out i mean like deb because i confused it with debounce and now you want to do update quest so it doesn't show the Lua information box that I'm seeing on screen. I'll add a, I'll add an image real quick. So I tried to take a screenshot of it, but whenever I would pre press Windows and then print screen, it will just close the Lua box. But I don't know if it's to everyone, but it might be. So you'll probably know what I'm talking about. But now let's add it if they do not have the enough coins. You would do else else if if quest dot value equals equals zero and coins dot value less than five you don't want to do less than and then the equal sign because it will it will like flash the text because of this and it will just mix it up dev equals true quest text text dot text equals you cannot redeem this quest you must collect five minus coins dot value more coins to redeem if you're wondering why i put five minus coins dot value is so it will show them how many more coins they need to collect until they can redeem the quest all right now we should add a wait sign let's add for this tutorial i will put wait three seconds but you can do whatever you want dev equals false update quest all right so now in this data store I just realized I forgot something. When it's gonna, when they um re complete this, when they um complete a quest, instead of adding the point to the quest, in my difficulty chart lobby, what I did was in the data store, I made it so it would add it quest dot value plus equals one. So now I add, I did add a little wait time, so it's not gonna save it when it's zero. Now we can add. Let's do like two more quests or three more, but for this tutorial, I will be only doing like one more. I'll do one more quest, but you can add as many quests as you want during this tutorial. But to keep this video not super long, like 30 minutes long, and so it uploads faster, I will only be doing two quests in the video. Alright, so now we have that, but for this, I will be adding um, the quests, so if I do a future video, I won't add the same quest.
All right. Else if quest dot value equals one and coins dot value greater than twenty, deb equals true. Quest text dot text equals you completed a quest. Quest completed. Fire server player. Repeat coins dot oh, coins dot value plus equals one coins number plus equals one. If you're wondering why we don't do dot value, it's because it's a variable and it doesn't have a value. Wait, 0 0.01. Coins number equals 20. Coins number equals zero. Wait, two. Dev equals false. Update quest. Else if quest dot value equals one and coins dot value less than 20 deb equals true quest text dot text equals you cannot redeem this quest you must collect more coins to redeem all right now let's make it so if they have enough coins it will if their quest value is two let's make it so it'll say there's no more quests if you're wondering what slash n does it's basically a line break character that's what it's called i believe so basically right um let me get this visible so if i press ctrl j that's an empty line right there and i'll do it again it's an empty line that's what a line break is but for a script to do that all you need to do is just use slash n oh wrong script Else if quest dot value equals equals two, then dev equals true. Quest text dot text equals no quests. So basically, this is a variable, and it says looks like you've completed all the quests. Wait three dev equals false. Update quest. All right. So now we should have a working quest system. Now to show you that this works, I will click play and and I will do some quests. Oh, I forgot something. I forgot to add the coin collecting. So now I can't collect coins. I'll be back in a bit once I have it all set. So I tried to take a screenshot of it, but whenever I would pre press Windows and then print screen, it will just close the Lua box. But I don't know if it's to everyone, but it might be so... You'll probably know what I'm talking about, but now let's add it if they do not have the enough coins. You would do else oh, else if if quest dot value equals equals zero and coins dot value less than five. You don't want to do less than and then the equal sign because it will it will like flash the text because of this and it will just mix it up. Dev equals true quest text text dot text equals you cannot redeem this quest you must collect five minus coins dot value more coins to redeem if you're wondering why i put five minus coins dot value is so it will show them how many more coins they need to collect until they can redeem the quest all right now we should add a wait sign let's add for this tutorial, I will put wait three seconds, but you can do whatever you want. Dev equals false update quest. All right. So now in this data store, I just realized I forgot something. When it's gonna, when they um complete this, when they um complete a quest, instead of adding the point to the quest, in my difficulty chart obby, what I did was in the data store, I made it so it would add it. Quest dot value plus equals one. So now I add I did add a little wait 
time, so it's not going to save it when it's zero. Now we can add, let's do like two more quests, or three more, but for this tutorial, I will be only doing like one more, I'll do one more quest, but you can add as many quests as you want doing this tutorial, but to keep this video not super long, like 30 minutes long, and so it uploads faster, I will only be doing two quests in the video. Alright, so now we have that, but for this, I will be adding um, the quests, so if I do a future video, I won't add the same quest. Alright, else if quest.value equals 1 and coins.value greater than 20. Deb equals true, quest text dot text equals you completed a quest. Quest completed, fire server player, repeat coins dot, coins dot value plus equals one, coins number plus equals one. If you're wondering why we don't do dot value, it's because it's a variable and it doesn't have a value. Weight 0 0.01, coins number equals 20, coins number equals 0, weight 2, dev equals false, update quest, else if quest.value equals 1 and coins.value less than 20, dev equals true, quest text text equals you cannot redeem this quest you must collect more coins to redeem all right now let's make it so if they have enough coins it will if their quest value is two let's make it so it'll say there's no more quests If you're wondering what slash n does, it's basically a line break character. That's what it's called, I believe. So basically, right, um, let me get this visible. So if I press control J, that's an empty line right there. And I'll do it again. It's an empty line. That's what a line break is. But for a script to do that, all you need to do is just use slash n. Wrong script. Else if quest dot value equals equals two, then dev equals true, quest text dot text equals no quest. So basically this is a variable and it says looks like you've completed all the quests. Wait 3 deb equals false update quest. Alright, so now we should have a working quest system. Now to show you that this works, I will click play and and I will do some quests. Oh, I forgot something. I forgot to add the coin collecting, so now I can't collect coins. I'll be back in a bit once I have it all set. 